Now today on Travel, we are talking tourism. Debbie Griffiths has been crunching the numbers heading to Invercargill. Morning, Debbie. Morning. Yeah, well, for the adventurers or those wanting to see the real New Zealand, Southland is the place to go. I've been talking to some experts who are helping tourists to get there. I'm heading to a region that's experiencing a continuing rise in visitors. Southland's numbers are up 11% compared to last year. It's brand spanking new $13 million airport terminal sets the tone and Vicargill is open for business. Build it and they will come. Already visitor numbers are on the rise. We got involved with the airport very early on in the design phase. So we worked with the airport and the council um, to ensure that the experience from it for a tourist and a customer passenger coming into Southland, that that is the gateway. So it's important that it is representative of the region and we think the end result has been fantastic. It's just so timely. You know, I, I, could we have timed it better? I don't think so. It's a really welcoming and beautiful and a really good suggestion of what Southland is. Air New Zealand ATRs will become a more familiar site at Invercargill Airport. We've invested in 15 new 68-seat aircraft, um, obviously for a number of reasons. One, um, because we're expanding on the fleet, um, we're making sure that we can deliver lower prices, more seats across the country, so it's about streamlining our operation but also delivering you know, great um, experience for customers, particularly in the regional centres. So the new 68-seat aircraft will have 29 of those operating around the country. We'll be delivering around 600,000 more seats into the regional fleet. In New Zealand has been, and I think as a the carrier, they've been, they've been really cool in the sense that they've made it more competitive to getting down here. This is, you know, in regards to the economy, they are as, as affordably as I can remember the flights getting in and out. This year we've gone from being 75% domestic to only 70% domestic and domestic is increasing. So what we're seeing is that growth from around about 500,000 to about 550,000. Not huge in the big scheme of things but when our population in the entire region is only 90,000 people we're accommodating a lot of people. Many head to Stewart Island or the Catlins Coast, but the number one tourist attraction, the exhibition honouring Bert Munro. Well, uh, he's an interesting guy. He's very clever, he's patience of a saint to work on those two bikes for the time he did. Uh, my grandfather used to pay for his fare to and from the States every year that he went. And people think he was silly, but he wasn't. He was far from it, but boy, he had some nerve. We're probably realistic. You know, we know where the, the, the tail at the end of the dog and we'll, we'll wag happily because you know it takes a bit for people to get down here. But the highlights quite often, when I know I holiday, are the things that the moment see get just to reflect and go, holy oh, cow, this is the place that someone gets to live, this is amazing. We are really happy with how things are tracking in Southland. Some of the challenges they have are reflective of all regions throughout New Zealand, as they are for us. You know, unprecedented demand, the key thing is to coming up with the right answers to meet that demand and um, it's a great challenge for us to have isn't it? So who's actually heading to Southland? Well 6% are Kiwis, then we've got international travellers, they're mostly Aussies, Brits, Americans, Chinese. I can also tell you on a national scale, visitor arrivals to New Zealand are expected to grow 5.4% each year, reaching 4.5 million visitors in 2022, and the total international spend is going to be $16 billion. $16 billion? Mm -hmm. Wow, well I can see why they're upgrading all the regional airports and that makes yeah. complete sense. Yeah. Hey Debbie, thank you so much. Thank you.